Uh, so my name is Alex, I'm the Global PR Manager for Mad Cats. Uh, we're here today uh, to support CSR because we're talking about a, a full range of uh, new mobile products that we have uh, called GameSmart. They're our GameSmart mobile gaming products. And they're, uh, con- uh, products that we're showing today are all using CSR's brand new Bluetooth Smart chipset. Uh, so GameSmart is a technology initiative that uh, Mad Cats are spearheading. And what we're trying to do is introduce a standardization across the mobile gaming uh, industry. So what do you mean is you, you, a, a single controller can be used on different on different oh, yeah, devices? The moment, yeah. there are, there's an explosion of mobile gaming, be it for smartphones, laptops, tablets, and, and games can go out and buy a Bluetooth controller, but they don't know if it's going to work across their tablet, or their smart TV, or their home PC. So we're trying to introduce a standardization called GameSmart, the idea being that consumers can go out, they can buy one controller, they can use it on their home PC, their home laptop, their tablet, their smartphone, their smart TV. Uh, so this is a prototype. This is called the Control R, and this is uh, this is, uses the Bluetooth Smart chip provided by CSR. Uh, Bluetooth Smart means that it, it's got very very simple connection. So we're showing off a, a game called Portal 2 at the moment. Uh, this is running on a, a standard Windows 8 tablet. So this is just a standard Windows 8 tablet. We've got no special drivers, uh, no profile editors. We don't have to mess about and start programming the controller or the tablet uh, individually. They just recognise each other very simply. They sync very simply and it introduces a console-like experience uh, to a mobile platform. So, you know, today's range of tablet devices and mobile devices are powerful enough to emulate a console experience. So, conceivably, gamers can have their tablet device, they can link it up to their television, and they don't even need a console anymore, they just need one controller that will operate across a wide range of different So would devices. that work on a phone? Would that work? Yeah, similar to a phone? That's, that's what we're trying to but do. But the phone has to have the chipset, or, the, or Bluetooth Smart? Bluetooth Smart, yeah. Right. So at the moment, you could use it on a Windows, uh, on a Windows phone, you could use it on a Windows 8 uh, tablet device. What we're trying to do, we're speaking to lots of different people at the moment, lots of different publishers, game developers, hardware manufacturers, to try and, uh, and gain as much support as we can for this initiative and introduce the standardization. And w- so what about um, things like the, the latest, um, like the, the Galaxy S3 and things like that? Do they run Bluetooth yeah, Smart? Yeah, anything that's, that's got Bluetooth Smart at the moment, this will, this will sync with immediately. No so I could buy that one single controller and run it on, whatever, on my PC devices. or whatever? The, you know, the ultimate aim for Mad Cats is that you'll be able to buy this controller, you can use it on your smart TV, your smartphone, your laptop. It doesn't matter if one is Android or Windows or, or, or competing OS, it will just work. So oh. that's what we're working towards at the moment. Uh, I mean, How far away are we from that then? Well, I think, I think we're already there in, in lots of ways. I mean, for instance, we're showing another product here today called, this is called the Mouse 9. Right. And this is a, this is a brand new mouse uh, that we're just releasing here. Again, this uses the same Bluetooth smart technology. Uh, and, you know, this is shipping in a couple of weeks. So this product, again, features Bluetooth smart. It'll sync immediately uh, with any Bluetooth smart enabled device. With this product, however, we also have a nano dongle that you can see at the bottom here. So that'll give you compatibility with legacy devices that don't have Bluetooth smart already on board. So. But you won't get the advantages of, of uh, you know. Well it still transmits via Bluetooth but yeah you're not going to get the you're not going to get some of the advantages that Bluetooth smart brings and of course you're going to need a nano dongle so right, right. that is one uh, that is one solution uh, that, that we can implement now that will enable you to use your game smart device across a wide variety of different. Uh, so let me get this straight so but um, uh, APTX Aptex mm-hmm. is that in Bluetooth smart? No or Aptex no? is a different technology that's a low latency codec that's right. audio codec so that's right. actually not part of Bluetooth Smart. That is a codec uh, invented uh, independently by the guys at CSR. Uh, we find that a very interesting technology as well. So, I mean, one assumes that eventually they'll be linked into Bluetooth Smart Plus or something like that. You have everything in one. Could be done, I guess. Low latency they're, they're, and compatibility yeah, across. nothing to stop uh, people from using uh, Aptex technology and a wide range of uh, audio devices uh, over the Bluetooth Smart as well. Yeah. Um, it's a very interesting technology, but that's very different from, uh, from what actually we're showing off here today. Yeah. But these products now, so this is called the Mouse, uh, Mouse Nine, we have a similar product, which is this one's called the Rat M. This is uh, specifically aimed towards the mobile hardcore gamer. This is a very hardcore gaming mouse, 7400, uh, 7200, sorry, DPI. It's supposed um, to look like a transformer, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It's, <laughs> it does transform. It's got it that does. patented yeah. uh, adjustable palm rest there as well. 7400 DPI, uh, 12 programmable buttons, uh, and again uses Bluetooth Smart. It's got a little nano dongle there as well that will enable you to connect it to legacy devices. And again, because you're using Bluetooth Smart battery life will, will last for up to one year which is just extraordinary 
and ultra ultra low latency of the Bluetooth smart brains. So oh, so hold on. So what's the oh, so, so it's as la low latency as uh, got the same kind of well, low latency Aptex, as Aptex. Let, you know, just just be sure. Aptex is is an audio codec. So right. That is different to uh, to Bluetooth smart. Bluetooth smart isn't just for audio. Of course, Bluetooth smart is a way of connecting uh, your your device to a host device. So of course, this mouse doesn't feature any kind of audio capabilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Bluetooth smart protocol means that you're getting incredibly low latency and incredible uh, power efficiency across the across the protocol. So, will this work with a Windows 7 machine? Yeah, it will. With it oh, but with that, anything that, so I can't upgrade the Bluetooth on, on my no, Windows 7? No, you can't upgrade the Bluetooth. Your, your host device would need to have a Bluetooth smart chip. Ah, so it's chip dependent. Yeah, and that is why we've, we've got like a Windows 8 tablet at the moment. This has got a Bluetooth smart chip. This is a Bluetooth smart ready chip that's inside uh, uh, the tablet device. And it just means that we can sync easily. And uh, you should also be able to see that, uh, you know, the mouse is, is, is connected. Uh, as well as the controller at the same time, so we can actually yeah. sync multiple devices. Yeah, yeah, Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And both the Mouse 9, the Rat M, you can find more out at madcats.com. They're shipping uh, in a couple of weeks from now. Price? And, um, the price, uh, we've announced, I believe, $129. I don't have a UK price for at what? the moment for both of those Mouse okay. products. We haven't announced uh, a price yet for the Control R. Roughly? I can't speculate. <laughs> Oh, Alex, you're here speculating with me all the time. <laughs> but again, a year's worth of battery power. And they're incredibly, you know, Mad Cats have got such a long heritage in making uh, premium gaming controllers. And, uh, you know, we, we think this really is the ideal product for, uh, for, for gamers who, uh, who want to ditch their console and want one, one controller to use across a multitude of different devices. Thanks, Alex. That's a great sales pitch. <laughs> Thank you, Nigel. <laughs>